All right, here we go with the illustrious uh, Steve Jobs, a uh, 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 fellow uh, compatriot, Jason Jones, <laughs> with the two cerebral cortexes. <laughs> So, so the, question, the question is, uh, and, and, and I have to give you guys credit, you guys didn't uh, shift myth too late. After all the flags we watched you take, uh, for, uh, what, uh, I don't remember what, actually, there, there was never any flag. But, um, buzz, what buzz? Oh, Halo. Uh, you're going to have a lot of buzz for Halo. And Oni, Oni uh, I'm just going to buy Oni. I, I have my money. Oh, really? Sweet, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I pre-order through Jason Jones. <laughs> no, I'm going to go on Kate. You've got to be careful. You don't need to say on Kate. I keep, I keep saying... <laughs> I keep saying that you should release Halo at version 1.2. <laughs> Just skip. Just go all the way to 1.2. So how did it, how did it feel? How did it feel being up there? It was funny. After I got out of that that distortion feel that <laughs> Steve has around him, and my mind unknown, I feel pretty good. That's it's great, it's, man. It's really cool. It's hard to be around him for very long without getting. And did did he find out about Halo, or did somebody else find out and kind of? Yes. Yeah. We, we got it. We got it set up here, Tampi. Right. To people at Apple we got things going. Right. We went out and demoed it to Steve about a week and a half ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. This all happened. OpenGL didn't work 12 days ago when we went and demoed it. To Steve. Wow. So everything happened since then. We demoed him to PC first. Oh, okay. And he didn't uh -oh. care though. Yeah. No, he didn't. Well, mind. maybe he cared, but he didn't say anything. Right. 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 Then we got this set up just recently. Right. Did, did um, uh, was there was there changes made with what you showed today with what was shown over the three? Um, yeah, absolutely. We yeah. Came back to E3 for everything. See, this is a real interview. You don't think I'm just bullshitting? Put it all right? back together. <laughs> it, turned out, it turned out really well. I mean, OpenGL did work E3. Right, right. Almost, yeah, almost nothing we had. Right. Did. And did I hear you say something about body count and, and its inclusion or lack of inclusion? Right. Actually, you asked the question in a way that I could answer with fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the question was, is body count going to be in a halo? Right. The answer was, fuck that. Right. Okay. <laughs> We'll quote you on that. <laughs> did you did you think uh, uh, two years ago when, when you started this thing, were you just simply assuming that technology was gonna? Because there was no OpenGL for Macro. We've been planning this keynote two years. <laughs> no, this is just something that happened. Right. Literally about 12 days ago. Uh huh. But the but the game itself and and the fact that machines are coming up to. So that means that whenever when this thing is done and you put it to bed and somebody else gets handed Halo 2, you're going to be working on something else, right? Perhaps. <laughs> retire, Ferrari, retire. But then again, I worked on Marathon 2, so you never know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. So you, you, will this be something which will be competing with like, um, well, I, I don't want to say competing because Bungie games are always so separate from everything else, but... Like uh, half life, uh, half life team, team fortress classes. Fortress two, you got two fortress quake three. Arena. Quake three. They're not going to do their team stuff. Right, much. right. Um, uh, they tried, yeah. They really right. tried every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing something different than all those games. Right, right. You will see. Oh no, no, we're definitely salivating from for it. It's that you mentioned at the beginning that about community. Am I, are you even in the shot? <laughs> you were mentioning about community. Is that? Are you stressing maybe more than Myth 2, the sense of community, maybe? I, mean, I, I think the, the cooperative nature of the game, like the team team play, should be encouraged in a way that it wasn't a bit. Like, it's really cool in Myth, you do a good team together, it's really fun. Right. It's hard to do that. The game doesn't really... The game actually makes it difficult to set it up. Like, set up a good team, right. know what you're supposed to do, and play well. And we're going to try to do everything we can to make it easy. You're to trying to address that, that side yeah. of the thing, right. Well, anything you guys want to say? <laughs> well, actually, I would. I mean, six years ago, uh, you and I stood in another Mac world in a different town. And, uh, Don't you remember yeah, him? Remember? Uh, remember? No, uh, and, 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 and back in that day, it was uh, Minotaur was a big multiplayer game. And uh, it was, it was you know, like, kill your, kill your enemies, kill your friends' enemies, kill your friends. Uh, now, you've kind of come a long way. Now, now I mean, you don't kill your friends. You, know, you team together your friends to kill other people. Uh, are you guys at all worried about the violence in video games? I don't know. It's something we think about a lot. So we're I definitely going to have a lockout feature even better than this. Consoles? Perhaps. <laughs> how about how about a console? You can tell us that you didn't have it already said. <laughs> no. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> how about like a console like in uh, like in um, 
as in Quake, as in being able to get into the engine. Oh, yeah. You're thinking about that, too? Our tools are set up in a much better way than they were in the engine. They are right. on both platforms. Uh-huh. This will be better. And yeah, there'll be something like that. Because I think that a lot of, a lot of uh, game geeks out there they love the tweaking, the any files yeah, and all that, you know. Yeah, so people think that. Yeah. We're, we're, we're set up to do that. Um, especially with the multiplayer and the team play, that's going to be really cool. Right. Right. So, are you involved in hiring a network guy to take care of the bungee servers? Can you put a little push there? And yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't already have a hundred things to do. Oh, you're right. Okay, I take that back. No, I don't take it back. Though. It's totally true. And yes, we are. Yeah. We get we get some candidates, but we need that perfect network programmer. Okay. We need we, we need you now. We found him yet. Right. But then once he comes on board, they'll, uh, the Myth 2 servers and everything will all be... Oh, the bungee all, net. They'll, they'll work that same day, <laughs> flawlessly. There'll be 100,000 people online. Just make file, that's it. I mean, I have actually a network programmer. So, so in the realm of yeah. actual business, um, you're not going to get me with that. <laughs> the bungee net stuff's running on Linux. It is running on Linux, okay. Oh, wow, you, you very cool. you got 42,000 users. Are you going to hit the uh, user one anytime soon? <laughs> The, it's, the, the big limit is the, the number of concurrent users. Right. And so, and we're, I think we're still pretty safe with that. There are obviously, so many things we can do to make it better. And, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really frustrating to me because we haven't, we haven't had the time. We don't have right. the person to do it. There's so many new things that we have to do. And right. We're right. on doing it a lot differently for Halo. Right. As we say, you're going to architect this out of. We're not taking a bunch of that out. Is that what you're saying? No, no. Are you going to architect the, some of the some of the total dependence on the centralized servers yeah. out? Gonna, there's going to be a total rewrite for Halo. Yes, so it's going to be much more spread out. I won't answer that question directly. But, I mean, yeah, I think that the cool thing about Bunchnet compared to like Half Life or Tribe is that if, if you want, you can get involved in the community, and there actually are people there talking about the game. And, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to do something like that. But it's not going to be like one server pushing everything all the time and crashing every now and then. Good going. Go good, good, uh, good going. Uh, on one server. On the keyboard. <laughs> What's that? The holding's on one server? Right now? Yeah. Um, no, there's a hundred servers <laughs> distributed throughout the country. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. It's running, it's, it's, running, it works well. it does. it's running at Bungie, and like our power went out. Actually, the whole block in downtown Chicago power went out. And the ser our server was up because it's on a UPS, but its connection to the net went, went down. Right. Yeah. yeah, that kind of sucks to sit there and go. That's why I'm a dagger. Because <laughs> the power went down. It's not my fault. I'm damn good. <laughs> well, I mean, haven't you opened it up to, to let those of us who do do it professionally uh, help you on a volunteer basis? I, I can't quit my job. I, they, they, they've got really great handcuffs where I work. Um, right. But I mean, I, I, you know, I have a card. No, seriously. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I have a friend in Chicago who uh, she's seen now, so I don't mind visiting her every once in a while. Oh. But, uh, I certainly do Bungie, Dark Bungie oh. the company that gets people together. Hey, um, no, I didn't need it through Bungie. If I had, I, I would actually be pushing really hard for us. Uh, if, if you played Mint, I, I'd right. actually be harder it. to promote. But, um, right. but I'd, I'd certainly be willing to help you out, you know, uh, for free. Uh, See, that's I, I'd, what be, I'd, I'd be happy to come out and help, but, uh, then, you know. Need we, to, we definitely need a guy, but like Conrad, who did bunch of new two stuff. Right. He's working on Halo now, and we need to find that guy who knows networking really well, has hopefully a ton of experience, but enough, and who's really interested in, in the bunch of net. Like, you really got to get somebody who loves that system. Right, right. Be, like, care for it. Visit it every two hours. Uh, wow. Uh, who, who was it? Was, uh, I think it was Yahoo, or it was... Uh, I think it was Yahoo, where um, Yahoo was running on 400 Linux servers. Yeah. And the chief system in for Yahoo lived in his cube. And I mean clothing hanging from his right. cube. Lived in his cube. He didn't go anywhere for, for about two years. Yeah. And uh, they, they got professional, and they brought in some other people. But um, no, actually, I've been doing it for about eight years. And uh, my problem is I'm, I'm a system admin guy. I do, I do internet only, but, uh -huh. but I mean, yeah, you should just get a team of like six guys to come in for free. And I, 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 I believe you. Uh, yeah, all, all I want is to beta. Yeah. <laughs> Collective lab. I just want to, I just want to stop by and, and blow you guys up a little. And, uh, right. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Right. We're gonna go over there and play marathon. <laughs> you gotta go over there. Yeah. So this is a. Uh,
we need more, we have people need more power on this one. Oh my God! It's the man. How are you, man? You already been on the web. Man, you're like the punching bag of. They took the worst video clip of you, man. Oh, I mean that. Yeah, it's like firing's all around. I will leave you alone.